cannot light up a cigarette. You can't drink enough beers. You cannot go to church enough to atone for your sin apart from your knowledge of Jesus Christ, your personal experience. Nobody can save you. Nobody can save you but Christ. Nobody in the world can save you but Christ. Because if you can't love your brother whom you have seen, you can't even love God who you have not seen and have known of him. What's your, what's your decision going to be today, ma'am? Sir, is it for Christ of Nazareth? Or is it for the world? Very tough decisions you have to be made. But you need life for life can't run away from the gospel of Christ because he will meet the day of judgment. And on that day, as more of you start streaming out here towards work, what are you working for? The bread that goes in and out? Or the word of God, Yahuwah, that abides in you and stays in you and is in you? The name of Jesus is all it saves. The name of Jesus. Don't be hooked up to this technology. It's only the name of Jesus. Only the name of Yahushua. You don't even know what's going on around you, sir. You're too hooked up to that phone and that internet. Believe on Jesus. Because every man must meet their maker. Christ is the maker. And if you refuse to believe on his name, you will perish in the flames. When he bled for you and he died for you and he gave so much that we didn't even deserve it. We didn't deserve anything. You two down there, and you, sir, need Christ today. You can't be saved by your job. You can't be saved by your doctor. You can't be saved by your pastor or your lawyer for bail. You can't be saved by, by the name of Christ. Christ is the answer. Not all this downtown infrastructure that, so you can get to work and pay your way just to live and you're so tied into a system you don't even realize it you don't even know why you hooked up your headphones right now you can't even hear because you don't have eyes that you may see you don't have eyes, ears that you, eyes that you can see ears that you can hear you rather put your headphones on so you can ignore it but you're not going to be able to ignore Christ on that day. And these prosperity pastors know you're going to hell. They know you're going to hell because they know they're going to hell. And hell, sir, is the lake of fire in the end. Right now it's Haiti. The underworld, the underground where you suffer torment. You have one last opportunity this morning at the sound of my voice to make a decision for Christ, ma'am, off in the distance. One person today, one person, be born again. Believe on the name of Jesus. Believe on the name of Jesus. We have all fallen short of the glory of God, Elohim. We've all fallen short. 
Your pastor even knows it, but they continue to live in sin, and you continue to live in sin, and you have got to work your salvation out with fear and trembling. And so do I. Why to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world? Believe on Jesus, not your job, man. Believe on Jesus, not this city, not your government. Jesus is the answer today. Only the name of Jesus. Only the name of Yahusha. The Messiah, the Christ. Who will stop and believe today? More concerned about your job than your soul. What's going to happen when Christ comes? And you say, i got to go to work today. You say, i got to go to work today. And Christ says, I am coming as a thief in the night. Praises, hallelujah, glory to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. Your church membership ain't going to save you. Your Southern Baptist pastor ain't going to save you. Your denomination ain't going to save you. The only thing to save you is Christ. He bled for you. He died for you. He cares about you. And every day you walk by, to go to your job, you care not about the things of Christ. All you care about, most of you, is your flesh. I'd like to grant that somebody here believed on the name of Jesus today. I'd like to hope that one person in Atlanta, Georgia, believed in Jesus today. You do? All right, sir, bless you. Move on out of Tony Sacrifice of Christ, you know? Don't, don't trust in Creflo Dollar. Don't trust in Charles Stanley. They'll send you to hell. Don't read their books. Huh? You knew that, huh? Bless you, sir. I love the fruits of Christ. I don't like the fruits of your prosperity pastors. I love the fruits of Christ. Woo! Glory and praises unto Yahusha. Jesus the Messiah, Savior Christ of Nazareth. Woo! Slain before the foundation of the world. Believe on the name of Christ. Your time is almost up. The world is running down, running down, and running down before he'll have to come. Praises to his mighty name. Remove your shame. Believe in the name of Jesus. Yahusha. Savior Messiah of Nazareth. Hallelujah to the Lamb. He loved you and he gave himself to God on a tree for you and me. Wouldn't you agree? So, why won't you believe? Why won't you believe today? In the name of Jesus. When he came to die for you on a tree, what? And he shed. He bled and he shed. His blood for you, sir, riding on that bike. Why won't you believe today? I don't even I hear only a couple glory hallelujahs out here. I've had at least 150 people walk by me and not really one glory hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Jesus. Woo! Nobody's fired up about life, are they? Sometimes I get that way too. But you people are downers. You people are downers. We need to believe in Jesus and get on the picker up.
It's time to believe in Jesus. It's time to believe in the Messiah. Your pastor is not a Messiah, and neither am I. But Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Christ of Nazareth. Woo! I don't hear anybody saying praise, glory, hallelujah. I know a lot of you go to church in Atlanta. So many churches, but so few souls saved. When have you last sat down to pray to God? Read your Bible. When have you gotten down serious with God, Yahusha, and figured out your life has fallen short? Praise is hallelujah to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. Believe on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb. Slain before the foundation of the world. And at that, I want to pray, Heavenly Father, that in the name of Jesus, Yahusha, the Messiah Christ of Nazareth, that those who heard today will consider that I'm not a crazy person, but that I just care about them enough to shout it on the rooftops and proclaim the glory and praises of Yahusha. Hallelujah. In his mighty name, I ask it. Amen to the glory of Yahuwah the Father. Amen.